Now at seven, suspended Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel is one step closer to possibly getting his job back. The special master, who is appointed by the president of the Florida Senate, has recommended that he be reinstated. CBS 4's Kerry Codd has reaction from Sheriff Israel and his replacement, Sheriff Gregory Tony. He joins us from BSO headquarters near Fort Lauderdale. Kerry. That's right, and I was here eight and a half months ago when Florida Governor Ron DeSantis stood outside the public safety building here at the Broward Sheriff's Office, flanked by family of Parkland victims, and the governor announced that he was suspending Sheriff Scott Israel for incompetence and neglect of his duties. But today, a special master in this case ruled that the governor determined that the governor did not make his case. Suspended Broward Sheriff Scott Israel is one step closer to returning to the top job at the Broward Sheriff's Office. I'm just humbled and I just want to get back to doing the job I was elected to do. Israel reacted to a recommendation handed down Wednesday by a special master overseeing his case in Tallahassee. The recommendation said Governor Ron DeSantis did not prove his case for Israel's suspension. The report said that despite some problems on behalf of BSO in the Parkland shooting, the evidence offered has not demonstrated that Sheriff Israel should be removed from office based on this incident. The report also says the record suggests that the Stoneman Douglas shooting was a culmination of individual failures. Governor DeSantis asserted that Israel neglected his duty and showed incompetence by not properly training his deputies, changing an active shooter policy that gave deputies discretion on whether to confront a shooter and oversaw deputies who either failed to engage the confessed shooter or deal with him appropriately during prior encounters. The report released Wednesday, though, said it's impossible for Israel to supervise each individual deputy. The report also said BSO's active shooter policy and active shooter trainings are similar to other Florida law enforcement agencies. The report will now go to the Florida Senate for a final vote on whether Israel is reinstated. Current Sheriff Gregory Tony told CBS 4 News he's not focused on what's happening in Tallahassee. Well, I'm focused on continuing to keep the mission going with the agency. I haven't really taken any self-interest in terms of what type of decision making is going on in Tallahassee, and I won't. I have to stay focused on managing this agency and protecting the two million people in this county. Tony said he intends to run for sheriff in 2020, as does Scott Israel. I feel confident that uh, certainly through next year's election process, I will be the sheriff of Broward County again. Uh, but I want to, I want to, you know, work with the governor. This is about unity, and I'm gratified. So here's what's next. There'll be a special session in Tallahassee in late October. At that meeting, Florida senators will decide whether Sheriff Israel will get his job back. I reached out to several families of Parkland victims today. One person, Fred Guttenberg, whose daughter Jamie was murdered at Stoneman Douglas, told me he is furious by the special master's recommendation. But he pointed out that this is not the final word, that that belongs to the Florida Senate. Live at BSO, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.